Episode 3 of Apple TV Plus Servant Season 2 was titled Pizza. The Turners open a family business as a front for a more important mission. What's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. Elliot back again with my weekly recap, breakdown, and review of the latest episode of Apple TV Plus Servant Season 2 Episode 3 titled Pizza. And this episode was like making a really good pizza, right? It's slow burn, you gotta take its time to make sure it turns out well and by the ending, chef's kiss and we're going to talk about that ending in this spoiler discussion but before we dive into it as you can see on the screen now make sure you all are following me on all my other social media accounts like facebook instagram and twitter which you can find those links in the description below if you are new to the channel welcome to the community consider subscribing and while you're at it hit that notification bell that way you all can get the alert for when i drop new content it would mean a lot to me if you all can like and share this review and not only helps out the channel but i also appreciate all the support and in the comments below let's discuss this third episode titled pizza let me know your pro and your cons and let's discuss that ending of this episode as well as your predictions for the weeks ahead so before i get into the recap just my initial thoughts here i really enjoyed this episode pizza this might be my favorite episode of the season thus far and i and i really like the direction i do want to point out that the director of this episode was m knight's own daughter who just like her dad she took her time and built the suspense and i thought that she stuck the landing in regards to building to that tension felt moment and speaking of that moment, which we'll have to get more into details in this review, but seeing that switch of Dorothy going to the dark side and having a, like a villainous moment, it was almost like role reversal. Like her, she was like a cult leader, right? And having someone do her dirty work by having Toby drug Leanne and blackmailing him to bring her home. So I love that switch in the character and seeing the looks on Julian and Sean's face was priceless. But I thought it was a really well-developed uh, slow burn of an episode with a great payoff. There's a lot of undertones about Dorothy staying off her feet and letting Sean do the dirty work, but then her taking the initiative. I really enjoyed this kind of character arc that we got from Dorothy and seeing her being that villain might be something again i mentioned a couple weeks ago her maybe joining the lesser saints but maybe she'll start her own little situation who knows but i really enjoyed this episode and i uh, would love to know what you all thought about it as well in the comments so let's get things started with the recap as the episode opens up with a flashback showing dorothy having some difficulties in her pregnancy and being told by the doctor to not step foot on her feet at all for an entire month. And I am to assume that that was when she was carrying Jericho. I don't know if this was another time when, because as, as we learned in the first season, they've tried to have kids in the past and unfortunately things didn't work out. So I think this was the time when she was giving birth or in the moments of pregnancy with Jericho. But let me know if you all thought it was maybe another time. But again, it's important to note that she was told to stay off her feet. She was told to stay in bed and have Sean do all this stuff, which obviously we get that kind of payback at the end of this episode of her taking the initiative and stepping up and stepping on her own two feet to make things happen really good kind of character arc within this episode but we see kind of the meat and potatoes of this episode is we see dorothy has sent out julian to scout this house which she's done her research and there's some sighting of leanne so she, of course she's going to have people check into this and it is julian who's checking into this and you know we see sean getting into the mix and they come up with this elaborate plan to start a pizza business which we all know Sean's a great cook, and I would love to try Sean's pizza, even though I hope he doesn't put any weird things into it, but a really kind of interesting idea, but going back to those flashbacks, we cut in between the present day and the in the past, and we're seeing again the doctor saying stay home. We're seeing the length that Sean goes through to make sure that she's uh, taking orders, right, and doing the right thing from cleaning her up and all that. It just really kind of shows, again... I really want a flashback episode of how Sean and Dorothy met because there seems to be a lot of stuff that Sean does for her. But again, the idea of this episode was her doing something for her own and not relying on on her husband, relying on her brother. She stepped up. An interesting decision, and we'll get to that decision in a little bit. But I found it really interesting within this episode too, just kind of paying attention to the little details. There were a lot of shots of Dorothy's feet in this episode. Again, staying off her feet, but also her staying in this house, the importance of her staying in the house, but also the shots of her being in the basement. And we saw Julian in the basement earlier, dropping some champagne or dropping wine in the basement. And there's this kind of tone of like what lies beneath, which brings me to this comment that someone left on my video last week, which you all can see on the screen now. As T and LW says that they believe that the cult is actually underneath the ground and in particularly under the Turner's house. So that's a really interesting theory there because I think there there might be some evidence to prove this as they talked about in their comments think about uncle george why is he dirty why does he have mud on his feet and then again looking at dorothy's feet what's underneath her looking at julian dropping the, the wine underneath the ground last week the ground coming up from uh when leanne called so i think there's a lot of 
a lot of merit within that theory. Let me know what you all think about that theory of the lesser saints living underneath the tourist house. Let me know you all thoughts there. But back to the episode, we get the return of Toby's character. As again, we know that they're starting this pizza business. They have him go out to do the delivery. And in doing so, again, we're cutting back and forth with these flashbacks. We get the particular moment when we see that Dorothy's at home, the smoke alarm's going off, there's a fire downstairs. Again, she broke orders. She didn't have anyone to rely on. She didn't have Sean there. She didn't have Julian. So she went ahead and went downstairs and we see the sequence play out very, again, the direction of this, the tension felt moments really felt impactful to me as she slips down the stairs and, you know, we thought that she was going to stumble forward, but she's able to catch herself. She inevitably goes to the kitchen, gets the towel off of the, uh, the stove. Sean's finally home. Like, why didn't you just call me? She says, I can handle it, which is a very important thing for what she does later in this episode. Cut to seeing Toby delivering the pizzas. We kind of figure out the situation that at first it's like, oh, no, this is just, uh, you know, a house full of kids. They just had a soccer game. There's a party. Toby goes to collect the money. We see that there's a sick woman in the bed. Her husband's reading to her. And it's kind of almost like a little bit of parallel between when Dorothy was not able to be on her feet. Obviously, she was pregnant. It seems like this woman that's sick is dealing with some maybe some cancer or whatnot. But again, just the idea that the husband was there. She was in the bed. Might be some parallels. I might be stretching there. But nonetheless, at first, we're thinking that nothing's wrong. But then Toby sees Leanne. We get the first official look at Leanne this season as she's now caring for this woman and caring for this new family. But then we cut to the conversation. We see that Leanne orders another pizza. They send Toby back over there. And keep in mind that Dorothy made the pizza. I don't know where she got the drugs from, but that's neither here nor there. But also something to keep note is we we didn't get a scene of Jericho, the the doll Jericho this week, which was interesting because another comment that someone left last week was, I never even pay attention to it, but that doll moved on its own last week when it was on the chair after the spacesuit was put on uh, the uh, by Julian, and then it ended up on the couch. Something to keep an eye out for, and I guess where is that doll? Is it somewhere in the house? Is it in the basement? Is it underground with the lesser saints? But either way, again, going back to the conversation between Leanne and Toby, as she tells him, and pretty harsh stuff as Leanne's watch, or I should say as Dorothy's watching this clip, she tells Toby that she just had to leave. She couldn't stand another moment being around Dorothy. She's cruel. She's selfish, which obviously Dorothy hears this. She gets a little bit upset, and she's she's okay with this news because she obviously has something up her sleeve for Leanne. As we go to easily, and also going back, let me know too, you all's thoughts on the parallels of the pizza in the oven paralleling to Dorothy being pregnant in those flashbacks. Again, uh, uh, as they say, there's, you know, something in the oven, a woman being pregnant. I don't know if there's some parallels with the pizza in the oven and her being pregnant during those flashbacks. Let me know your thoughts there. But easily the best moment of this season so far, as we see Leanne passes out, Toby's checking on her. He tells them he's going to call 911. He says, I don't think that's a good idea, as Dorothy says to him, because you just drugged a young girl and I want you to do something for me. I want you to bring her to my house or else I'm going to call the police on you. That moment to me, like I said, the episode was kind of building. It was a slow burn. I was still appreciating the direction. I was appreciating kind of the parallels. Again, that theory of them living underground. But it was just like at that moment, I'm just like, I love this switch in the character because it just makes you question her as a character again just going back to what i've been mentioning last week how she's able to have this affection and just kind of moments of being lost that her child her fake child is being taken away but she didn't have that remorse for when she was responsible for the death of her child it really kind of points is kind of shining this light on dorothy in another way of like this mother we should feel sympathy for as an audience but the decision she's making in this episode what we noticed she did last year we notice she's very kind of, you know, she is selfish at times. She's very about herself. She's very demanding. So I don't know, man, I'm, I'm liking this switching the character and looking at Dorothy in another light, as well as, you know, Sean. And, and, and that's what I like about the show is just these characters have a lot of dimensions, a lot of complexity, a lot of duality in their characters. So I really enjoyed that moment of Dorothy blackmailing Toby to bring Leanne to their house, which I hope that's what we pick up from next week. Leanne, Dorothy, where's Jericho? Aunt May, Uncle George coming in for the rescue or they're just underneath the house. So let me know what you all think about everything that we got in this episode. Again, I thought it was a well-directed episode. Seeing Dor- uh, seeing Julian and Sean's face when they see 
what Dorothy did was just completely, they were speechless. It was a priceless moment. I really enjoyed this episode. I think this is my favorite of the season so far. And I hope this, this is the kicking off point. The first two episodes, a little bit of a slow burn, not a lot going on, but I think episode three is kind of the launching pad for the rest of the season. But I really enjoyed it. But I want to know what you all thought of this episode, your pros, your cons, your thoughts and the theory of them being underground, which by the way, T, L, and W, that's an awesome comment. And I've responded to, I think that's a really great theory, but let me know you all's theories, what you think is going to be happening. What is that interaction going to be between Dorothy and Leanne seeing each other for the first time? Let's talk about it all in the comments below. As always, make sure to like this video, make sure to share it, leave your thoughts in the comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my other content. Thank you all for watching this review. Hope you're staying safe, and we'll see you in the next video.